All right, the long-awaited, nothing as it seems, Mike McCready's part, how exciting. Hopefully, you've watched the video on the B minor pentatonic scale, so don't have to explain that, but the B minor pentatonic scale is here. And that's what Mike uses to solo in nothing as it seems. So from the outset, it's like, it's like G9, bend it. And then G7, D9. And then in the, some of the live versions, he does this thing, which I, I tend to like. I mean, these, these mic solos are kind of like half pick out some stuff you like, half do your own thing, half go peruse. Who, who else here collects live Pearl Jam CDs? I do. <laughs> so, you know, go peruse your favorite versions and, and find those out. So I'm just going to kind of point you in the right direction here. Where were we? Oh yeah, okay, so this one that I particularly like is you bend the G string and then you play B, this is slowed down by the way, you play B7, E7 right in succession after the G string, ready? Right? And then you play B10 and bend it. And then, this is pretty consistent in the mic solos here, you play E7, B10, you can just do that like a hammer onto the B string. Or a pluck it either way. Then we're gonna, I don't know, let's uh, do E10. Bend it and wiggle it. That was G7, B, D9. So in faster motion here. solo. That's pretty much note for note, depending on which version you're listening to. Don't feel like home. B minor triad. A triad are the three notes only, like triceratops, that you need to make a, to declare it a B minor, and those are these notes. E string second fret, F sharp. Uh, B string third fret, D. G string fourth fret, counting, B. Oh my god, so many letters and numbers. So he just kind of goes like this, he goes. And then he plays a B minor major seven. It's really fun to say, and it'll make you sound either really smart or really stupid. <laughs> but a B minor major seven is a B minor chord with a major seven note, which of course does not live in the B minor chord because it's a major note, but it's the thing that makes nothing as it seems, nothing as it seems. And that's just done with uh, a e, baby E2, B3 and G3. solo. We already know that's B10 bend, and then he's got his, that's a E7, B10, B7, and you hammer onto the B string. So you pluck E, and then you don't pluck anything else. Hammer on, pull off. Now I've lost my context. Kind of noodles around in B minor pentatonic, whatever. Do do something. Ooh ooh ooh, and then he goes up to outside the regular. It's still the B minor pentatonic, but it's into the next shape, which we'll do some other time, but not now. But anyways, he's on E twelve.
right? And he's got his echo on it. It's like, wah, 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 and it sounds like a big thing. But um, you can tell how many cups of coffee I've had today. He's bending B12. Release the bend. That just means stop bending. It doesn't mean release the string. Pull off to 10. And then B12. So... There we go, into the next verse. One uninvited chromosome. I don't think he actually does anything in this one, but whatever, it's fun. And then into the next chorus. It's nothing as it seems to be. That it needs. It's B minor. Is this gonna be the longest video on the channel thus far? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Saving up the sunny day. That bridge, he starts with his B minor triad and he goes. So right hand goes G, B, E, B, E, open E, B, E, and you saw when my pointer finger came off. Now the pattern doesn't change, just where your fingers are. So then we do our B minor major seven. And then the note that was acting as our major seven, the G string third fret, goes one fret more down, and what you have is, <gasps> it's a D. I don't know if it's supposed to be a D, but it happens to be a D. Back to the minor major seven. big moment here. We're gonna do octaves starting on the 11th fret of the A string. That's A11 and G13. That's two notes of the same color. They're both A flat, G sharp. Now the thing is you want to mute all the strings with your pointer finger so you don't have to like strum cautiously. You want to be all... crazy solo. Anyhow, there you go. That should get you started. I mean, that, that's apart from me sort of saying, well, you know, do your own thing and experiment um, with the B minor pentatonic. I gave you some specifics, but sometimes, well, it's Mike McCready and sometimes you can't quite hear what he's doing, but, but that should get you started anyways. I hope that was helpful. Keep the request coming. That was fun. I kind of nerded out in the middle, Pearl Jam style. I don't think anyone watching would. Any of the 120 Pearl Jam fans out there who are my subscribers, thank you, would mind. <laughs> There's a sentence for you. Go back and listen to that in slow motion. Have a wonderful day. K-bye. Okay,